everybody welcome back to my channel it's your girl sister girl on films and we are back with another episode of fright night friday <laughs> title of this video was not clickbait i have never in my black african-american life seen alien i've never seen any of the sequels um i've seen clips of the movies and i pretty much know like what it's about and I know like the iconic, like the aliens, I forget what they're called, but I, I know the gist of the movie, but have I ever sat down and watched Alien? No. <laughs> so I'm so excited to actually watch this with you guys. So I don't have nothing else to say as far as the intro goes because I ain't never seen this. So <laughs> you already know what to do. Go ahead and get yourself something to drink. Get yourself something to snack on and let's go ahead and get into the highly acclaimed iconic horror sci-fi classic alien and for anybody wondering how i've never seen aliens before or alien before this came out in 1979 okay i was but a, a twinkle in my father's eye in 1979 so by the time i got into watching movies this movie would have been probably like 15 years old and I never was really into sci-fi horror like that. I really ain't even now. But yeah, so that's why I've never seen it. Okay. <laughs> Yafet Kodo. I think I'm saying his first name right. Hey, we watched him in that horrible ass uh, Nightmare on Elm Street 6. 5 or 6? Six? 6, I think. The last one. And I know it's a bunch of sequels to this. I don't know if we're going to watch the sequels, y'all. Oh, okay, shut up. Strong Crew 7. Oh, shit. Mineral Ore Returning to Earth. Okay, got it. Seven crew members. What's going on? Were they getting like an urgent message? Okay, I'm sure that'll be relevant later. Y'all yeah, know how much of a reaction y'all gonna get out of me in this video because I never seen this before. And with science fiction movies, I have to really pay attention. <laughs> I find them to be kind of boring. So I'll miss shit. Okay, now that's a way to introduce us to the cast. Man, I'm sure at the time when this came out, people were like, this is just amazing. Like now we're looking like, y'all look at these old computers. <laughs> but back then, this is probably like, the height of technology, at least, you know, they thought it was. Right? Okay. Plug us in. You should know. It's not our system. It's good. Oh, they got off course while they were asleep. This is commercial towing vehicle Nostromo out of the Solomon's registration number 1809 Go ahead and start control to your Listen, you don't notice how they never come down here. I mean, this is where the work is, right? Well, it's the same damn reason we get a half share of their one. Our time is their time. That's the way they see it. No, but, but, same but, old shit, man. Y'all fat Kodo was tall as hell. You don't have a personality. Jeez, I'm tall as he. 
He looked that tall when he was fighting Freddy Krueger. <laughs> Mother's interrupted the course of our journey. Why? Yeah. She's programmed to do that should certain conditions arise. They have. What happened? Seems she has intercepted a transmission of unknown origin. She got us up to check it out. A transmission? Out here? Yeah. What kind of a transmission? Acoustical beacon that uh, repeats at intervals of 12 seconds. I saw it. Uh-huh. I don't know. Human. Unknown. So what? <laughs> we are obligated on the section. Well, I had to bring this up. But uh, this is a commercial ship, not a rescue ship. Right. And it's not my contract to do this kind of duty. And what about the money? If you want to give me some money, do I be happy to own it? Listen, okay. Oh, then that give me home. Can I say something? Let's talk about the bonus work. There is a clause in the contract which specifically states any systematized transmission indicating a possible intelligent origin must be investigated. I don't want to hear it. I want the only party. Parker, will you just listen to the man? <laughs> penalty of total forfeiture of shares. Money. Oh, okay. So you don't answer the yeah, SOS yeah. call? <laughs> At least investigate it. You don't get shit. Yeah. That's crazy. Right, we're going in. Yeah. We're going in. Take her down. Approaching the carriage. Oh, oh, oh. Sit down. What happened? Somebody give me a straight answer. It's a whole breach. What, what is what? It's 17 hours, fella. At least 25 hours. Get down, four panel. I'll be right down. What the hell is she coming down here for? I'm going to stay the fuck out of the runway. Ooh! Ain't that how they be acting? <laughs> Don't come down here messing with us. There's a transmission. Uh, northeast. Just under 2,000 meters. Well, he listens. <laughs> can you give me an atmospheric? Yes. I'm about to say, can y'all go out in it? Oh. It's almost primordial. It's in a nitrogen high concentration of carbon dioxide crystals, methane. Oh, Lord. On the trace elements. Anything else? Yes, it's rock, lava base. Deep cold, well below the line. Mm -hmm. I said sound cold, child. You from a place that get real cold in the winter, you know what that damn wind, when it start whistling, oh hell, it ain't got cold as hell. <laughs> you dread going outside. I just feel like, what are the odds that it would be some sort of human needing yes, help? And not some sort of deadly alien race <laughs> trying to lure their next victim with this fake SOS call. What is that? All right. A ship? What is it? We have to go on. No, you don't. Well, will you say that again? I'm going back to the cost. Come on down here, something different down here. I don't know what it is, but see if we can get up that wall. If we can get up that wall, we can climb that. Chair, I wouldn't want to find out what it is. We did our due diligence. We. Went to the SOS call. It looks like it's left over from a crash ship. Ship. <laughs> and that's all I got for you. What is it? Like a weapon? Life form 
What do you mean? What are you looking at? What am I supposed to be seeing? Like that whole thing? Ew! I thought that was part of like... That's what I'm saying. Damn, that's big as hell. Oh my, oh, okay. That's what I'm looking at. I thought it was like, y'all know what I'm saying? Like ridges on yes, something? That transmission. Mother's deciphered part of it. It doesn't look like an SOS. What well, is it? Well, I, it looks like a warning. I'm going to go out after them. What's the point? I mean, but the, the time it takes to get there, you'll they'll know if it's a warning or not, yes? It might be too late. What are we talking about? Mm -mm, I don't like this. You okay down there? No, what is that on the walls? What is that? Can you see anything? I don't know, a cave. A cave, a cave of some sort, but I... Uh, well, I don't know, but it's like the goddamn tropics in here. Oh, I don't know, things. This music, honey. it's full of leathery objects, like eggs or something. That's what I was thinking. Like a little incubator or something. This score had to have won an Academy Award. Cause what are we talking about? The atmosphere is created. There's a, a layer of mist just covering the eggs that reacts when broken. Oh, oh. What happened? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, get the fuck out of <laughs> Absolutely not. I'm telling you, this was a trap. Don't touch it. See what I'm talking about? Uh-uh, that ain't right. That ain't right. Is something in it moving? Oh, get out of there. Wait a minute, this movement. Hell no. No. Oh my God. What is that? Life. Organic life. Looks so gross. <laughs> oh no, honey. I don't know if I could do this one. This is why I don't like alien type movies. Gross. You know what else looks like an alien creature? Fucking octopus and squids. Gross. I hate them. Now, why I am I in it? And you could have did now, it. See, I, I didn't did because you never I apologized. Did the minute he said there seems to be some sort of life force, y'all should have told him, get your ass back up here ASAP. Okay, Ripley, I'm at the end of our catch now. Right. But where my boy at? 
Texas. What happened to Kane? Something in the Texas stuff to him. We have to get him to the infirmary right away. What kind of thing? I need a clear definition. An organism. Open the hatch. Wait a minute. If we let it in, the ship could be infected. You know the quarantine for <laughs> Yes! You could die in 24 hours. Open the hatch. Listen to me. If we break quarantine, we could all die. Oh, my God. Open the goddamn hatch. We have to get him inside. Ripley, you not wrong, girl. Can't do that. And if you were in my position... Baby, look at them PB Karma shoes. Order. Open that hatch. <laughs> you hear me? Yes. Ripley, this is order. You hear me? Yes. I read you. The answer is no. It's no. Did he do it anyway? You motherfucker. Uh-uh. No. I just don't know. I mean, I guess you're not supposed to leave nobody behind. But like she said, you need 24 hours to quarantine. That is disgusting. You hear me? Ooh, that'll do it. <laughs> Hell, mother fucking no. Absolutely not. Looks like a nasty ass octopus. <laughs> uh uh, you ain't got enough facial protection on. Finger. I'm trying to get his finger off. Just a minute. Y'all need a uh, hazmat suit on. This is too much. This is too much. This is too much. What's that mean? Just kill me. Just kill me. If I got something like that just suction to my face. Baby, take me out the game. Take me out. Take me out, coach. I'm done. I don't want to live through the trauma of that. Even if I do make it, I'm good. <laughs> I've lived a fulfilled life. Get me out of here. What are they doing? Checking his vitals. What's it got down his throat? I would suggest it's feeding him oxygen. Nigga, what? Paralyzes him, puts him in a coma. Oh. And keeps him alive. What the hell is that? Oh, my God. You gotta get it off him. Just a minute. Just a minute. I mean, let's not be too hasty. This is making me sick. <laughs> we don't know anything about it. Now, we're assuming it's feeding him oxygen. If we remove it... He could die. Could kill him. Mm-hmm. See what I'm saying? Y'all should have left his ass out there. I won't even take that chance. Just cut it off from now. You take responsibility? Yes, yes, y'all. Responsibility now. Get him out of it. It's a shit. I ain't gonna do it, Dad. you wanna do this? Make a decision just. That's like acid. Crap's gonna eat through the home. Listen. Ripley told y'all. Leave his ass out there. No, no, we got to save him. Now look. I'm sorry. I, I, I have. <sighs> there is no way in hell that the music from this movie did not win an Academy Award. They won a Golden Globe for Best Original Score. Had to. You, they had to win some. So that means they were nominated at least for Academy Award for this score because it's beautiful. It's beautiful. The score is like 10 out of 10. Okay, I had to stop and look that up, y'all, because this score is blowing me right now. It's, did y'all hear that? <laughs> Come on, clarinet and oboe. You hear it? It's good. It's good. Stop. Say anything like that except uh, molecular acid. Right. It's got a wonderful defense mechanism. Mm hmm. You don't dare kill it. Right. Kane is good as dead. 
Dick should have just put him right on off the ship, child. Well, you know, came to Ash, you get back to work. Not sure that was it. Oh, now y'all serious like about fixing the ship. <laughs> we should have landed in this place in the first place. Listen, I agree. Shouldn't have landed on this damn ball, I know that. Well, as soon as we pack this thing up and get out of here, the sooner we can go home. This place gives me the creeps. As it should. Yeah, well, all that 17 hours, 25 hours, that shit out the window now. Okay. <laughs> Y'all was trying to milk the clock. <laughs> I don't trust him. Talk? How's, uh, how's Kane? He's holding no changes. And, uh, our guest? Oh. Hmm? Well, as I said, I'm still... Collating, actually, he hides some. I have confirmed that he's got an outer layer of. Well, it's an interesting combination of elements making him a tough little son of a bitch. And you let him in. L listen. It's a bang of direct order. Right. Ash, when Dallas and Kane are off the ship, I'm senior officer. Listen. Oh, yes, I forgot. You also forgot the science division's basic quarantine law. Get him, girl. No, that I didn't forget. Oh, I see. You just broke it. Right. I'm about to say, you, so you just ignored it. So what would you have done with Kane? Left his ass out there, like she said. You know, his only chance of survival was to get him in here. Unfortunately, by uh, breaking quarantine, you risk everybody's life. Period. Maybe I should have left him outside. Yes, actually. Maybe I've jeopardized the rest of us. You have. The risk I was willing to take. It's a pretty big risk for a science officer. Ooh. It's, uh... Not exactly out of the manual, is it? He up to I something. I don't take my responsibilities as seriously as you, you know. You do your job. And let me do mine. Uh. Uh. I like Ripley. My girl don't play. She ain't got time for this, this, this foolishness. Where is it? Well, I don't know. We have to try and find him. Let's check it Bitch, I know you fucking lie. What? Oh, hell. <laughs> hell no. What do you mean? <laughs> Could it have gone in his body? Appropriate response. Appropriate response. <laughs> pause, pause, pause. Motherfucking pause. <sighs> now you called us down here because you saw this little alien murderer was missing. Why would you not say that when you let us know to come down here? And why would you not say, hey, we need to put a helmet or something on to cover our face for protection because this little fucker is missing. Because what's gonna stop it from ah, on my face? I don't like this dude. What's his name? I don't like him. Kane. <gasps> oh my god. Oh. You okay? I can see it. Was it in the other hand? What? It's up there somewhere. That's a line. That's a reflex action. He's dead enough. Well, good. Let's get rid of it. Listen. Fix up this day, fix up with Brett Baby. Right. Yeah, Kiki Key. Y'all still got that fucking alien creature on that damn ship. Calculations based on time spent getting to and from the planet. Just give me the short version. How far to Earth? Ten months. Ten months? <laughs> Hell yes. no. Dallas, I think you should come and see Kane. Has his condition changed? It's simple if you just come and see him. I don't trust him. Yeah, everybody go. Because he might try to kill y'all. And take credit for finding this little alien speak. 
Trust that. You remember anything about the planet? I remember some a horrible dream about smothering it. Uh uh. Anyway, where are we? I would not where trust this yeah, for one. The old freezerinos. Nanosecond. You hear me? <laughs> you look like Joe <laughs> Pesci. <laughs> hell, hell no. Absolutely not. Um, no. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. This man just had a whole fucking alien creature attached to his face with its tentacle down its throat, keeping it alive as an incubator. And y'all just like, oh, he's up, he's good, let's start eating. No, you're gonna have to be quarantined for 24 hours. Hell, we got 10 months. We we need to see what's about to happen with you. I don't have time to be in Ripley. You okay with this girl? Oh hell no, y'all are crazy. Clearly, I am sure he's about to be our little outbreak monkey. The first thing that I'm gonna do when I get back is to get some decent food. Dig it, dig it, man. I'm telling you, I'm eating virtual food. He's about to throw up. Look at his face. Look at his body. Uh -huh. it's, I'd rather eat something else, but, uh, Look at his face. <laughs> something ain't right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ash. You can't trust. <laughs> Is this where that scene from uh, Spaceballs come from? Oh no, not again. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my raccoon gal. What, the alien came out of his belly? That's exactly what this is. But I know it ain't about to come out talking about hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. Hello, my ragtime gal. <laughs> oh no. Child and uh, Nightmare on Elm Street stole this. Oh, don't, touch, don't, touch, don't touch it! Don't touch it! Hell no! <laughs> so do y'all sitting down having fucking oodles and noodles? This is crazy. <laughs> oh my god. Micro changes in air density. Give me a demo. I hate Ash. I don't know if I'm supposed to hate him, but I do. I really do. This is all his fault. Gotcha. Two teams. Ash, Lambert, and I Ripley, you take part in Brad. Now, anyone see this thing or catch it in the net that Parker is holding on his lap? Parker, I don't want any heroics out of you, all right? Catch it, put it in the air. Why you got to come at the brother like that? Uh, are open he don't even want to be here for real. <laughs> so you got to worry about no damn heroics. He's sick of this shit. How about getting the locker? They got a little. Wait, don't let him go! What the hell are you doing, man? It's a cat. <laughs> hey, look, now. We had to back it, man. Now we might pick it up on the track again. Right. I'll, I'll go and get it. Duh! Or even like the little alien could catch the cat, implant another little alien in the damn cat. I don't know if that's how that works. <laughs> but at this point, possibilities are endless. That, listen, that cat got in that damn locker. 
Because it saw the alien. It was like, hell no. Nah, out. Hey, Jonesy. Come on, heartbeat. Just a subtle heartbeat in the background. Come on. <gasps> Let the cat alone. Let the cat hide where the cat gon' hide. This bitch then shedded its skin. I don't know what the fuck that mean. But that can't be good. I can't, y'all. This movie is... <laughs> this movie's a lot. But I like it. I like it. Picasso. <laughs> What's this? It's an art project. Okay, I like it. Picasso. <laughs> I'm not convinced that alien ain't inside that cat. Oh. Why is it so big? Oh my God. Y'all, I can't. This motherfucker is huge. Oh my Look at Jones a cute little self. I need a second. I need a second. <laughs> when we last saw this little fucker, it was like I'm guessing maybe probably like this big. This motherfucker is how did it get so big so fast? Like What happened? Uh, <sighs> you sure it took him into the air shaft? Disappeared into one of the cooling ducts. My question is, if you was a man, Doc, to move around. When did they see that? Could Brick be alive? No. How did they know they, it took them? How did they know how big it was? Did I miss something? No. This air shaft may work to advantage here. It leads up to and comes out in the main airline. Because he wasn't with them. So how did he... All right, there's only one big opening along the way. I'm confused. We cover that up and then we drive it into the airlock and zap it into outer space. Y'all tell me in the comments if, I'm, if I missed something. It's like a man. It, it's big. I feel like the heartbeat is now like an indicator that uh, the damn alien is somewhere nearby. Yeah, All of this would have been avoided if they had just listened to Ripley. In the Dallas beginning. The Dallas, you're gonna have to hold your position for a minute. I'm off the signal. You sure? Don't look around. Are you sure that it's not there? I mean, it's got to be around there somewhere. It's above you. Check that out, Lambert. You may be getting interference. Dallas, are you sure there is no sign of it? I mean, it is there. It's got to be around there. Dallas? All right. Uh, I might, I might carry Lambert, but I want to get the hell out of here. Oh, God, it's moving right towards you. 
Like, which way am I supposed to go? Look at Ash. Dallas? No. Now, the fact that the alien gave us a jump scare is crazy. <laughs> Like it's, it's probably snatching them up and planting little on, little right. eggs in them or something. They set y'all up. Fucking knew it. <laughs> Ripley, girl, fight for your life. Something ain't right with Ash. Other than him just being like a fucking crazy. Like even his eyes look a little questionable. What's up with his eyes? Cause it's a reason why they swapped out Ash from the guy that used to always go on these missions. We know Ash ain't up to no good. This motherfucker. So, and they were okay with risking all human life and just taking this robot that was like expendable too? Y'all. Ew. A second here. What was 
special order. You read it. I thought it was clear. What was it? Bring back life form. Priority one. All other priorities rescinded. That's a damn company. What about our lives, you son of a bitch? I repeat, all other priorities. He said, I said what I said. <laughs> There's got to be a way of killing it. How? How do we do it? You can't. Bullshit. You still don't understand what you're dealing with, do you? So tell us. Perfect organism. Its structural perfection is matched only by its hostility. You admire it. I admire its purity. Baby, Ash sitting up here looking like the aftermath of a 1501 BBC gangbang. It's crazy. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> Wait a damn minute. about that i would imagine though this is what the aftermath would look like and y'all are crazy for putting it in this movie <laughs> i can't lie to you about your chances but you have my sympathies oh go to hell you little robotic piece of shit we're gonna blow up the ship we'll take our chances in the shuttle blow up the ship <laughs> Yeah, you got to get the cat. See, y'all about to blow up the cat. The cat's like, no, 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 no. Y'all not about to blow me up. Okay, check the box. Oh, shit, the heartbeat. The alien is somewhere. Jones. Jones. God damn it, Jones. Jones, I'm dead. <laughs> Shit, sick of you. Jump scaring people all the time. Yes, get Jones and go on. Right, get your ass in there, hush. I'm like, yeah, that ain't Parker. <laughs> Do you got the flamethrower? Yeah, move, girl. God damn it, Lambert. Lambert, slide to the left. Slide to the left. Slide to the left. Casper, slide. Out of the way. Lambert, you gotta be kidding me. Lambert, you gotta be kidding me.
expires in T minus three minutes. trust that Jones has not been implanted by some sort of alien baby. Feel like it's gonna be standing right between you and what oh poor Jones. <laughs> Get the cat. Oh girl. Get out of there. Come on, Ripley. Although something obviously went wrong because we got sequels. <laughs> so the alien is, but what happened? Girl. I don't trust this damn cat. We saw falling. We saw how the demon was in the cat. Remember that? And the demon came back. Y'all saw how I rhymed that? <laughs> oh! Her in her damn panties. In your panties. In your damn panties. I'm like, what the fuck is that? I knew something wasn't looking right. Damn, that motherfucker's hiding the whole time. Looking at her eyeballs. <laughs> See you. I see you. We good. Okay. We good. I see. You. We see each other. We see each other. We good. The whole time she was trying to escape, he was like, "Yeah, bitch." Ooh, I'm glad we got out of there. <laughs> that would have been terrible for both of us, but we escaped. Thank you. Can't get over this damn alien hiding in the escape shuttle. <laughs> How you notice where she was going? Look like a smart. Because eventually it's gonna have to be a you or me situation because I can't sit in this damn closet and starve or die. 
because your ass decided to hitch a ride with me. Get back in. Get off the damn shit. Get out of here. Yeah. Toodaloo, motherfucker. <laughs> Members of the crew, Kane, Lambert, Parker, Brett, Ash, and Captain Dallas are dead. Mm, mm, mm. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. Damn. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. This is Ripley. Come on, believe it or not. survivor of the Nostromo. Signing off. Come on, girl. y'all so that was alien y'all why didn't y'all tell me this was good <laughs> alien was so good i was locked in oh my god this was amazing this was amazing like i don't even know where to begin the storyline made sense not a whole bunch of plot holes you know there was one thing i still didn't get an answer for as to how um lambert was it Lambert? No, how Ripley and Parker saw the alien, but I was under the impression that it was only, um, I forgot his name, uh, the, the other guy that got killed when the alien transformed the first time. So that was the only thing that kind of confused me. But other than that, y'all, this was 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. I hate that I've never seen this movie before. So next question is, am I going to watch the sequel? Uh, yeah, <laughs> obviously. Now, I don't think I'm gonna go down the rabbit hole and watch all the sequels, uh, but I think for sure, I think I have to watch part two, if nothing else. Um, so we'll get to that eventually, y'all. Don't, don't, don't be pestering me about when we gonna watch it, okay? I don't know. When I get to it, okay? When I feel the need for speed, okay? We can gonna watch it, but I loved it alien so y'all let me know your thoughts in the comments below child i know i'm late so what okay so what well pardon me mr perfect i guess i forgot that you never ever make a mistake so y'all let me know what y'all thought about alien um don't give me no spoilers about what's coming up and things like that because obviously if i ain't seen this one i ain't seen all the other ones either um but let me know how you feel about the og alien film and as always, y'all, like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'm going to see y'all next time for another episode of Fright Night Friday. <laughs> Good night, y'all.